Hey guys, Mix here, and welcome to part one of the mini bike build. So today we are going to be going to Home Depot to pick up uh, the paint for the mini bike. I'm going to be keeping it the original blue, you know, just, you know, better, obviously. And their handlebars chrome. I still have not decided what uh, I want to do the rims, but it's probably going to be between one of those colors or just both. But let's head to Home Depot and pick up the paint. <laughs> About the two colors. All right, guys. So we are back. I got the supplies from Lowe's. We went to Lowe's instead, but uh, I got some, some sanding stuff. Uh, I got the paint. So I got this really nice paint here. That's almost pretty much the exact same color as the original paint. And then I got the uh, the silver slash chrome uh, for the handlebars and maybe the rims. I just thought maybe I could do the I could take off these stars here and maybe I could do the background uh, chrome. And then the star is blue. I think that'll look pretty good. And then I got uh, some of these like sanding pads to smoothen out the frame. And then I got this like sanding block, you know, to take off some of the rust and uh, old paint off of it. But what I want to do before, uh, you know, sanding this down and everything, is I want to wash it off. You know, there's still, you know, there's a good amount of dirt on there, so I want to clean it all up before I hit it with uh, sanding. Guys, this is looking so much better. I had to use a uh, sponge because then because the dirt wasn't coming off very good. But this is coming off super duper good with the sponge. All right, so the washing of you know the frame part is pretty much done. It looks so much better now. So just like the rest is just rust and all that. So now I want to try and wash out the tires, rims. I mean. All right, guys. So I just finished uh, washing everything. Uh, it looks so much better. And I'm super excited how this is going to come out. All right, so now with the uh, frame all washed down, I'm going to use this to uh, sand down the frame and then use this one to smoothen it. ended because the, my camera died but uh i finished sanding it and i revealed that there's a fox usa sticker on here so that's pretty cool and but when i was sanding it like this like i don't i don't know if it's wet but like the paint got all weird on me but i just wipe it off and then i need to sand the rims all right so i just wiped it all down and the frame is so much smoother now it's super good and now what I want to do is take off the tires and the seat and maybe even the handlebars so we just get the frame ready for paint. So as you guys saw from that time lapse, I was having a lot of trouble getting off that back tire, but I got it off anyway. Uh, there was just like a bearing stuck on the axle. I thought I was able to just slide through, you know, just with it on, but it wasn't. So that was the problem the entire time. But I got both tires off. The, uh, the front was super easy. You just take off one of the nuts and then just pull the axle through. But the other one had, you know, a bunch of bearings and all that. But I got that off along with the uh, sprocket. So everything's in order. I uh, even took off the seat, but now I'm going to take off the handlebars. A little time and some tenderness 
just finished the first coat and this looks super good. Like, look at that guys, it's so clean. So I wanna let this dry for a pretty long time because I have to do, uh, you know, see if I have to do the second coat and then do the uh, under it. We are back about two days later. I really wanted this thing to dry because I wanted it to come out as good as possible. And the waiting paid off because this thing looks amazing. I put on the second coat. I didn't bother recording it because, you know, basically the same as the first. But look at this, guys. Look at that. That is such good quality. But now with the frame all dry, I want to flip it over and then do under it. Just finished doing under the uh, frame and you know checking for some places that I might have missed while doing the top and this is looking good we are back with the frame all dry all right so the frame is completely dry on the top and on the bottom I'm so happy how this came out came out really good and now I'm gonna be painting the uh, handlebars so I want to keep the sticker on here because it might be original or something and uh, I'm probably just gonna take off that throttle and then maybe just uh, just tape up that uh, other grip. I took off the uh, throttle grip, I taped up that other grip, and I taped up the sticker, and now I'm gonna paint this. So the handlebars are drying. And one thing I hate about painting uh, handlebars is because it drips so easily, and it's so hard to make it like look nice. So, you know, I already see it dripping, so uh, there's nothing I can really do. So I'm gonna conclude part one here. I'm gonna do the rims in a different uh, part like next part. Um, I'm probably gonna reassemble the frame in that same part because I wanna take my time. I want it to come out as good as possible. I don't wanna rush anything, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like, comment, share for the channel. Thanks for watching.